I still remember the day, 1993, when I had the Rubik's Cube and I had two layers solved during lunchtime. And I really wanted to learn how to solve it, but there's nobody around around campus that knows how, that knew how to solve it until I met this guy, Trung, who had art class with me. And before art class, he grabbed the Rubik's Cube from me and he solved it. And I said, I gotta sit next to you in art class. So I sit next to him in art class, Miss Henchke's, Mopita's eye. Miss Henchke is a art class. And after we were done with our art project, he would help me solve this Rubik's Cube. So today I'm gonna to show you how to solve this Rubik's Cube, the last layer. That's the we're on this series, and if you're up to this point right now, uh, you're on to the last algorithm that you need to learn to solve the the yellow on top, all right? But before I do that, I want to show you some solve. All right, so I'm gonna randomly mix up this, this cube right here, and I'll do a solve for you. I have my timer here, so I can show you what time I'm gonna get with this. So, I'm going to inspect it and take a look how I'm going to solve the plus first. Okay, I don't have an easy one. I don't have an easy one. All right. I really messed this one up. Okay. Trust the timer. Okay, I got the plus. And uh, now I'm pausing here because up today and then put it in the corners in another corner and the last corner goes in just like that and I got lucky because I have the shooter code right away and okay all right so 36 seconds 36 seconds that my average is about 35 seconds so that's an okay solve. All right, let's do another one. See if I can get a good one today. I'm gonna randomly mix this up. All right, I'm gonna inspect it. See how I can make the plus, the white plus first. So, okay. Be a good one. Got lucky again. Ooh, this is a good one. All right, that's a good one. Twenty-seven seconds. Twenty-seven point nine five seconds. All right. With the previous videos that I uploaded, you you should have seen all the different situations that you can get. So right here you have this situation. But it's not the Fat Lulu situation where you have this white sticker facing you. You have it not facing you, and the two white yellow stickers are facing this way. All right, so say you're holding the cube here, you have the yellow stickers facing you. This is different than the Fat Lulu one, where the yellow, you if you held it like this, the yellow sticker is facing you. This one is like this, it's facing you, all right? So you're gonna look over my shoulder, and I'm going to show you how to solve this one. You hold it like this. The yellow sticker is facing you. I'm going to take this right side and you're going to turn it down this way. Twice. See? So the right side goes down twice. So the whole entire time I want you to keep in, um, keep in mind where this, this, uh, this corner piece is going to go. This corner piece is going to go way down here. Away from you. I turn that that twice the right side twice now you take th the bottom and you have to hide it over here so the right side is turning this way okay why do you have to hide it over here because you need to fix this all right I'm gonna go back again so from here you go here you go here then you're gonna go back then you're gonna take this this corner you're gonna turn it twice so the top twice and then turn this right side 
just like you did the, to the other corner, and you put it down to the bottom. So now both of these are on the bottom, like uh, away away from you. So now you turn both of those back this way, and you line them up here, so they're fixing. All right. What do you do after that? You turn the right. Yeah. Yeah. You turn the right side back this way, and then you'll have two yellows. I mean, two rows of yellows there. You take the top, you turn it twice, and then you fix the yellows like that. All right, now how am I going to get back to the situation for you to practice that algorithm? This is Superman algorithm. I'm gonna do the same algorithm that I just showed you twice. And it will be set up for you to practice it again. All right, so here we are. You solve the yellow. Now, look over my shoulder. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do this two more times. The yellow stickers are facing you, so it's like Superman flying at you with his fists. There's his fists. He's flying at you. That's why we call it the Superman. I didn't make that up. That's its name. So the right side goes down twice. So remember, the corner that you're keeping an eye on is here. It needs to go away from you on the other side. You take the bottom and you turn it to the turn it this way see that so if you looked at it you're turning it clockwise so that's why we call that D we just call it D because the the lay the down down layer goes just goes clockwise all right I'm gonna go back again this is the situation you have right side twice you take the down layer and turn it this uh, clockwise and then you take the right side the right side here and you turn it back like this so that you'll have a row of whites here now this is the other corner that you need to fix so you need to turn the top twice either way you turn it it's not gonna matter just turn it twice now this corner here is gonna go down here and both these corners right here are the ones that you're fixing now you're going to take in one turn you can turn the downward layer the D turn it counterclockwise we call that D prime D prime just like that and you'll see the cube starting to fix see the pattern there's patterns of colors starting to fix so now you take the right side with these two whites and you turn them down you'll have two whites facing you here you see the cube trying to fix itself all right you won't have the cube solved at this point well there is a chance you will have it solved at this point but you most likely won't I'm guessing the the chances of you having it solved already at this point is going to be uh, 2,500. Out of 2,500 times you solve the cube, you'll have, after doing this, the Superman algorithm, the cube will already be solved. Alright, so is it most likely you're not going to have it? Psi, this is the algorithm that I'm going to show you in the next video. Okay, so then I have these two solved in the middle accidentally solved. Then I, now I just have the edge pieces. So there's a cycle that these, these need to go through. This edge piece needs to go here. So I'm going to hold it like this. And then I'm going to show you this algorithm in the next video. And it'll be done. So you are almost done. Just start practicing. I'll see you in about five days or more, depending on how much time you want to give yourself. Congratulations. You're learning the Rubik's Cube. I'll see you in the next video.